Welcome to another BNI Education Moment. Today we're going to discuss how to schedule a visitor using the BNI Connect mobile app. There's two ways to schedule a visitor. Both ways start the same. Go down to the visitor icon, click on it, and at this point you can either schedule or register the visitor yourself or you can send an invitation to the visitor. Let's start off with sending an invitation. And we can do it by email, by SMS or text message, or we can share the invitation, which will basically copy the information and you can paste it in Facebook Messenger or any other method you'd like. Let's go with email. So we'll click on email, and here you're going to see by default, it chooses the region that you're in, and you would select your own chapter if you're inviting them to your own chapter. Now, just as a note, you do have the option of inviting somebody or sending an invitation to someone for another chapter, perhaps outside of your region, maybe in a different state. That can be useful if you have a friend, family member, acquaintance in a different part of the country that you want to introduce to BNI, you can actually send them an invitation to another chapter. For now, we're gonna invite them to our chapter and just click on next. Here, you can fill in the information self-explanatory. If they happen to be in your contact book, in your phone, you can search there. And I'll search for my friend Not a Real here. And you'll notice it's already pre-filled with the email address and just click on continue and next. They're gonna get a full email that has some information about BNI, but you can put your own personal message right in here I'm going to keep it simple this time. Just come visit. Now, obviously, you're going to have a conversation with these folks prior to inviting them. Don't just send out an invitation and hope that they click the button and register. Provided you did that, go ahead and click on invite. And it sends an email invitation. Generally, you'll get a copy of that invitation as well. Now, the other way to schedule a visitor is to register them yourself. The difference is if you send an invitation to a visitor, they have to fill out all their information versus if you register them, you fill out the information so you do the heavy lifting and all they have to do is receive the email and click a link to join by Zoom or get the address to join and visit in person. My suggestion is if you already know when the person's going to visit and they've confirmed they're going to visit, Go ahead and register them yourself. To do that, click on visitor. Just like before, you can fill in the information manually or you can search for the information in your contact book. Then you can choose one information you want to share. Phone number, email address, and we'll just go ahead and leave the address off. Click next. Next again. You'll see the information is in there. You can add a number if you'd like to. And once you click next, we can skip the, the address and then we'll choose the date that we want them to visit. When the date screen pops up, the red indicates if it's an in-person meeting. This specifically relates to hybrid chapters where one meeting is in person and then three meetings are online. So if your chapter only meets online, you'll see green. If you only meet in person, you'll see red or if you meet online and in person, you'll see red and green. This way there's no mistake about whether the meeting's in person or if it's online. We're gonna go ahead and select online and click on confirm visit date. The next step is to choose a profession. This is the area where if someone is registering yourself, they could possibly get a little tripped up and not necessarily know how to find that information. They might decide to start scrolling when in fact, all they need to do is start typing in what their profession is. For example, let's say photographer. Now you can choose what type of photographer. There are gonna be some times where it may take you a little longer to find a specific category or a specific profession. And that's one of the reasons I suggest that you register your visitor instead of sending them the invitation to register. Here we're gonna leave visitor checked, but 
this is the same process if you're scheduling a sub or a substitute. For now, we'll just click on register and your visitor will receive an email with a link for Zoom or an address for an in-person meeting. There you have it. That's how you invite a visitor and schedule them via the BNI Connect mobile app. Thanks for watching.